What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital. Another review show with Rami. We're back for another week. Yep. But before we um, look, before we do get started, um, from the team of Football Capital, um, we want to send our condolences uh, to Leicester City and uh, the Shiver Dana Prava family yep. um, for the unfortunate situation that took place not too long ago with the plane crash. Um, we wish all the very best to all the families uh, that were unfortunate to be part of it. Everyone affected at um, Leicester City as well. And Leicester City, and we send our praise to uh, the club and the families um, that had to go through this. Yeah, um, it's, um, look, Vishai was a, a big part of Leicester City's success two seasons ago, was it? Winning the title. And um, look, he's back at the club. I think it was maybe 2010, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, look, he's, he's changed the history in football uh, in regards of a team like Leicester City bringing them not only to the Premier League but bringing them back into the Premier League after they got relegated and then to go and win the Premier League to leagues. go win the Premier League a team like Leicester City it's um it's going to be his legacy is going to be in um, Premier League folk folklore for a very long time now and so um yeah our thoughts go out to everyone affected in, in the tragic uh, incident and um yeah look uh, we'll, we'll kick off our episode again guys We've, uh, we've got three stories again, just like the, our last video. Today we'll be speaking about our first story. Oh, well, one of the stories is uh, Manchester United, another late... Late win. Another late win for Against Jason Mourinho. Against informed Bournemouth that have been actually yeah, quite look, well this season. They keep saving the, the two players that wanted out, Pogba and Martial, keep saving Stepping his job. Stepping up for us, eh? Um, we're going to talk about Arsenal again now, 14 games under, unbeaten, uh, in 14 games. Yeah. And, and against a uh, really informed Liverpool that we know this year is, is one of the teams to watch out for. Yeah, and again, and um, our last story will be Manchester City. Again. Again, uh, running right, six in running the city. Riot. Um, guys, look, we, we know we didn't make an episode last week, we apologise. Um, a few things popped up and we couldn't unfortunately make an episode, but um, we're back now. Yes, we're um, back for another week. But before we do touch on any of the, uh, any of the three key topics, topics I think we're going to touch base on what happened throughout the week with the other fixtures that took place. Um, yeah, look, so United United was the first game with Bournemouth that kicked off this week. Which we'll get more which, into. Yeah, which United won 2-1. The mm, next game was... Um, Newcastle finally locking in their first win of the season yeah. against a Watford that has been really good this season, but the last few weeks have seen them a they've bit... They've been up and down. A bit of a slump lately. Yeah, look, we, it's, they're, they're a weird team, huh? they're like a bit of a roller coaster up and down all year. Yeah. We know they've got some, some, some good players. Well, what did they get last week? Did, I'm pretty sure they... Some big score, was it like a 4? 3 0 against Huddersfield. Three, yeah, and then the week before that was a 4 0 loss, I think, to, to Bournemouth, was it? And then, no, no. they lost, they lost, uh, they beat, they beat Wolves. They beat Wolves. But then afterwards, that's when they saw themselves 4 0 to Bournemouth. Yeah, so they're a bit, they're a bit up and down. So it's and either them winning 3 0 or them losing 4 0. It was a big game for Rafa just... Benitez. 10 games with no wins. They they finally uh, got that monkey off their back and got got their win. Look, it was, it was an unlucky goal on Watford's part, deflection in. Oh, sorry. No, they, no, no the that header, was a great header. That was, was a header from Maris. And you know what? Sorry, what I wanted to say was that was a Jose's first goal of the season, actually. Mm. Um, which we've seen him in the previous seasons. Actually, he does perform when he needs to perform. But this year, that was his first goal of the season so far. So, yeah, look, look, good on Rafa Benitez, good on Newcastle. Uh, they finally locked in there. They got the monkey off their back, um, and um, now they're not. They are not a part of. Huddersfield being the only teams well, that yeah, have play, won yet. Huddersfield play tomorrow morning against Fulham. So can they also looking, break this? Well, whoever it's whoever wins that game or whoever loses that game it goes last. Or if Huddersfield yeah. loses again, they they stay at last. But look, the game after that we saw Everton um, three one. Yep. Quite right. convincing win actually to Brighton, and, look, and it was a great performance to, they overall. Had, they had to bounce back against United last week. They did. They did. Um, they didn't. They didn't play too bad against United. Not at all. Last weekend, but uh, a loss there. And going into this game against um, against Brighton, Brighton have been in good form. Yeah. I think they, ha they haven't lost their last three or four. Last three, I think it was their last three they haven't Correct. lost. And um, they've been good in the back. They've been good in the back, um, Brighton. They have to been. They can see now three goals, but hey, but some look, of their goals. Man, the attacking first, firepower that, from Everton has been... Bernard, that, Bernard, uh, Sigurdsson and... Uh, um, the main up front, up front for them. What a and, buy. Oh, At man. the start of the year, we're like 50 million it's for a bit much for, for a club like Everton. Much, but, and nah, look, he, he's delivering. It tells you. Uh, he's yeah. he's delivering this season, and look, that link up between them three, yeah. uh, down down the left wing with Bernard giving it to Sigurdsson, puts in a nice through ball, and he just blasted in. Great finish by Richarlison there. Unbelievable finish. But again, man, the man the man to talk about has to be Richarlison. That last goal, the way he touched around the, the last man, and Probably. the way 
turn these hips, skin the goalkeeper. And it just, skins, yeah, skins the skins the keeper as well. And yeah, it's just it's just that that shows when you're at your top of your game and you're buzzing and yeah. you're in form. Only players that are in form and buzzing will do and something like that to a, beat the keeper. It's good to see him after that red card rematch band come back and he come back continue and continue being in form. Yeah, continue um, shining. And he's doing that in for Brazil yeah. as well. He's got his spot there in Brazil. But and again, like you mentioned, the link-up play between Sigurdsson yeah. and uh, uh, Bernard. So two two goals for Richarlison. And a great goal for Coleman. Yeah, sandwiched in between that uh, Coleman goal. Great finish, bottom corner. Correct, yeah. Um, look, Within we went saw, on to, who do we have next? West Ham. Um, yeah, West Ham, 4-2 four, four, to Burnley. Now, again, I'm, great I'm, victory. I'm happy Burnley not winning. Yeah. Are they in the relegation zone? Not yet. I'm happy because um, Burnley can lose as long as good months and my one Burnley player scoring. Scoring, yeah. We'll talk about that, <laughs> fantasy, in, that in our fantasy, fantasy video. Points. But um, look, uh, it's good for West Ham. They they they're another team that have been up and down. Yep. I think after they beat United, they went on a, a couple of games that they with no wins. But um, great goals, man. Uh, look, but besides um, Anderson's the deflection was it the, the, the bit of a deflection was it? I think when he shot out to the box. Yeah. Um, but Anadovic, mate, scoring that goal. He's back, man. He's, he's and then and then, and then back now. in the I think I'm not sure what happened between himself and the uh, Burnley player. But he went back after the Burnley yeah, player, no matter him. how long, gave it straight to him, he went into his face and kind of put it on him. Yeah, I think something must have happened in the, in the opening yeah, minutes. Well, he wouldn't do it for no reason, unless you're that much of a... <laughs> but I don't know, I just... Again, I I'm not sure, but... but look, good on West Ham. Good they, on West Ham, yeah. They, West Ham. they need all the points they can get because there were some games that they should have won, they yeah, haven't. They haven't. So I let, as now they're picking... I think after they got... They might have a tricky run in the next couple of games, can we... They got Huddersfield next, which is a good one. Yeah, I know they got. Um, um, they then have Man City at home. I think after City, they got a few. After Man City, they have Newcastle at home, which we'll see if Newcastle is going to pick up some pick up form some now. Points. And then they find themselves. A card, they've got so a good, they have a good run. After City, they're they, good they, run. they've got a good run, but um, so, so they could pick up some more points there. They could, they could. But I'll see again, how we go, man. Four-two, good win for them. A, a win at home. With they're struggling to win games at home this season, so there's there's another win. West Ham supporters will be um, happy with that one. And look, um, we saw Leicester winning 1-0 away to Cardiff. Yeah. This would have been an emotional one. It was. Now, this was a big game for Leicester. What happened, like we mentioned before, the, beforehand with the with the crash that um, happened to the club. Right after the game, um, the West Ham match, yeah. It, it would have been brilliant for this the club to win this. And I, well, I, seen, think, you, I think you, it was very you, nice to see you've them. Seen, you've seen the emotions. Um, with, with not just the players, but all the staff members on the field. The fans, everyone um, in the stadium. Schmeichel, you can see he was, he's, he's crying, like he was tearing up. And well, it, he said it really did affect him a lot. Well, he was he was the first one to be at the scene when, when that incident ha did happen. He was the first one out there in the car park. And look, he spoke very deeply, and I read an article about how he said he's never going to forget this plane crash. Yeah. And it really hits home for him, and just the owner and what he's done for him, he's given opportunities and yeah. career-wise, and he goes, he's never going to forget that. It's, it's a sad time and we've seen disasters in the past happen to you know clubs like Liverpool and United and uh, it's just not nice and this is it's nice to see the football world come together and yeah, really you know in yeah. unison seen, and really we've seen Arsenal weather with the bands with the um, just, Wolf logo on it which is great good to see it's a tragedy man and but, um, oh, you, you, you got to give it you got to give it to Leicester City because um to play after a tragedy like that it's, it's very not hard easy. it's not easy it's very hard and it's not easy. Th the first the first maybe 10 15 minutes you've seen that it was affecting him Carter for all over him in, in the opening, maybe even 30 minutes, uh, I think, of that game. Uh, Leicester did have their chances. There was a chance, I think it was by Vardy. Yeah. Was it Vardy or was it someone I can't, can't exactly remember? Blasted it straight over. But then they got that, they got their chance. Um, was it Gray? That's the Murray right. Gray, the Murray Gray uh, took his took his chance and got got that got that all important one nil victory for for Leicester. Now they just gotta. Use this as fuel for the rest of their season. They they've got now something to play for. I mean, look, they're, they're sitting at 10th at the moment with 16 points. They're not far off. I mean, they're only four points behind um, the likes of United and, and Bournemouth, which are in 6th and 7th. Yep. you got them uh, European qualification spots. So that's what they'll be looking for. They'll, they'll be setting their targets for that. That's So yeah, look, Leicester City, great, great victory after that. Um, An emotional sad, and a big yeah, victory as well. Sad, it's it's more than just like the one that. win against Cardiff. It's, it's a really big one. And I think, I think everyone besides Cardiff supporters wanted Leicester to win. You know what I mean? Uh, everyone wanted them to get that. I victory. think a part of Cardiff and fans good, probably got, wanted them. Yeah, look, you got to give them credit. Uh, Cardiff, um, there was a big flag, the Leicester logo on it, and it was passed around the whole stadium. That's beautiful to see. Even with the Cardiff, the Cardiff supporters got involved mm -hmm. as well. So, like we said, it's when tragedies happen like this, it's good to see Man, it's everyone the, come together. The, the, and, um, and this is why we, we love the game. This is why I think it's the world game and the best game in the world. It's, it's, in moments like this, the, the, everyone does come together in unison. Yeah. And look, again, um, shout out to the family and to the club and again our condolences are sent there.
But yep. um, the next game was one of our main topics, and we'll, top, no, no, we'll touch on, on it. We got, we got uh, Wolverhampton. We got Wolverhampton and Tottenham yeah. Hotspur. Yeah, I was just gonna say the result: Arsenal one one with Liverpool, but we'll get deeper okay, yes, into that. Yes, sorry, Ram. Um, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, like great today. No, it's fine, man. But yeah, look, Wolverhampton. The last couple of weeks, they haven't been getting the results. Not at all, man. I mean, they got last the last two weeks where they should have been getting at least a point in the yeah. heaven. And I think one of them was a loss to uh, Watford. That like was. We just spoke about. That was. And look, three 0 down. They were three 0 down to Tottenham, and you got to give credit to them because um, they did play some good football. Uh, Lamella looks like to be getting back in the swing of things. He's been scoring some important goals for him. We know how good he can be when he's in form. Uh, yeah. His problem was lack lack of, I guess, consistency in his form. And also, he, has, he wasn't. He was always on and off the bench, not starting, then coming correct, on late, not, not getting enough time to get yeah, yeah. to get into the game. But look, he's been showing that. He's he's back in the, in the scoring sheets and um, look, look, he's very he's an important player to to Tottenham. I think look, they, they scored some. Look, they scored quite. You know, they, they knocked him in quite early. But I don't think they dominated um, Wolves. To be honest with you, now I know Wolves both their goals were penalties. Um, but if you look at the performance and you look at some of the stats as well, possession was basically even, fifty-two to forty-eight. Shots wise, now I know Wolves had sixteen shots to their ten. Yeah, only seven on target compared to their eight, but we, yeah, look, they, was, they performed. I, think, I don't think they were look, terrible. We spoke honest, about this with um, with Wolverhampton. Um, they have in most of their games. If we look at, if we go back and if, you know, if you guys want to look at the rest of their games, the the last ten, most of their games have been leading in shots. Maybe except for that Watford game, but they've been leading. It's their attack. Leading. They just can't put them away. Yeah, a lot, like I said. Uh, a lot of chances off the post, off the line, deflections. But I don't think they lack the firepower up front. That's what I don't get. I mean, I, I think with the players they do have up front, Jimenez, you know, I think Jimenez is a, is a great nine. I mean, if, if he's off form. Bench, we, we've got that firepower as well. But look, they gotta, they got to start bouncing back. I think they might have Arsenal in the next game. Another tricky test for them. It will be. Especially but, um, the inform Arsenal inform as well. Arsenal, yeah. So um, we'll see how they go. But um, we'll get... Is that, do we got anything left there? Yeah, we so look, we, we, we saw Chelsea. Man City went to 6-1, yes. which is another Sorry. big topic we'll talk about afterwards. And then we saw, uh, the last one, um, Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea beating Chris Palace 3 right now. Points. Again, what I loved about this Chelsea game, as much as I don't like Chelsea, but look, as much as I, good for Chelsea, is the Spaniards are really kicking on for them. Now, we've seen Morata yeah. in form now. I think that's five goals in five games now. Four and four. Four and four. Four and four, sorry. Four, four and four. four. Yeah. He scored two in this game. It's good to see him pick up some form. Didn't get chosen in the World Cup. Didn't perform early in the season. A, so lot, a lot of, even the fans on their back. A it is. Of, a lot of the fans but on his look, back to get to get to drop him and have Giroud up front. Correct. But, but we, um, no, as I said, we saw the Spaniards. Morata two goals. Pedro a goal. We're seeing um, Alonso assisting. So the Spaniards are really pulling yeah. through now. Hazard didn't start, of course, come back from the injury. I mean, he did come on and get score himself an assist. Um, but yeah, with the injury picking up, we should see him starting again next week. I think for Chelsea. And maybe he'll play in the Europa League. Um, not, maybe even resting. Uh, I think so. I think it's more important to rest for the Europa League. Um, um, Chelsea's next. Oh, should have went down. Chelsea's next game is against. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, no big game there. Everton. Everton. Everton at home. That's another, but, it's a tricky game. It'll it be is, a tricky man. game for if Everton play like they did on on, on the weekend. Yeah, uh, it sh should be an interesting game there with Chelsea. But Look, Chelsea again, they go into they go into uh, still second, undefeated, still undefeated, we're and still, they still join the two other teams that are undefeated too. Three, so still, we still I think has this happened that three teams have been undefeated for this long? Eleven games. I don't think so. I, think I don't think so. Three time. teams I think, I think undefeated the first time still. Three teams undefeated with. With ten games, kind of burns because you know I should have been in Chelsea. But look, yeah, look, that, that's me. still burning me at the moment. But three what, points. what can you do? What can you do? But look, yeah, we now, do have. Like we said, we're, we're sticking to the three main topics, and I think last video I chose the first topic, yeah. and I think I'm going to throw it over to you this time. Which me, topic so we're we doing first? So we got the United. Put them on the screen. We got the United game. The um, last minute winner. The last minute winner. Arsenal, Arsenal Liverpool. Arsenal, Arsenal Liverpool. And I think we'll leave that. Arsenal, Liverpool, Liverpool. We'll leave it to the end, yeah, yeah. and then we got Man City Man dominating. City. Uh, so we'll, get, we'll start off with the United game. United game. What's your take on this game? Look, man. Again, we're doing it tough. Look, I, I'm not saying. And again, I know Bournemouth name-wise is, is a smaller club, and we, we understand they've been completely informed this season. They come. They were fifth prior to the game. I think they're still fifth. Is it? Um, no, they've dropped down to sixth there. now. But look, we're we're now on equal points with Bournemouth. Um, again, man. Our our, our defence letting us down. What was that goal? Wilson by himself in the box. One thing I'm really burning about is every goal that United cop, the defence is sitting back and then the strikers sit by themselves. And we, it's really frustrating. Yeah, look, it, it, the it, likes of Smalling starting week in, week out as one of our centre-backs. Just How can a club have the same centre-back as back when Alex Ferguson was there seven years ago, six years ago, 
And to still have the same, he belongs in the first division. I'm going to say it, we've said it before. He does not belong in the team starting as a centre back. But, but again, the, the problem is um, he's probably one of our best <laughs> fullbacks the last couple of games. But what does that tell you then? What does that tell you? So. I, I got you got to give credit. You got to give credit to, to Bournemouth. You got to give credit to Bournemouth. To well. Bournemouth, but also to um, Lindelof. I think the last couple of games, even the Juventus game, he's been playing well. I think he played well in this game again. Um, he played well against uh, Everton. So that's three games on the bounce that he's. It's looking like the the uh, Lindelof we know. Those glimpses at, against Chelsea as well. But I think I'm Shaw again, out. another key player. But at the back I just line. think I just think you're versing Bournemouth. I don't care what kind of form you're in. Wilson's popping it, but Wilson's on fire. It doesn't matter. We, 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 we versed players like Liverpool that we don't see Salah in the whole game. We, two weeks ago, we played Chelsea. We, Hazard was nowhere to be seen. So if we can, if United can be holding these players, they're marking them out of the game. What's what's? Why can't we mark players like Wilson out of the game? You know, it's not like a big, it's not it's not a big task. Look, but this well, is when you're not one really when you're not switched on yeah. in, in defense. Sorry, yeah. When you're not switched on in defense, and we cleared that ball. All, all our players stepped out, but they stepped out too casual. And then that quick ball comes through and we're just waiting. Everyone's waiting for each other to pick up the players. And it's too late. You can see the disappointment on the Hayes face. Like, again, he's, he's, he's considered another goal. The guy deserves a clean sheet, man. He, like, he really does. We look, clean United sheet. have only got one clean sheet. I think with... What a stat. Yeah, I think it's us. There's four teams. There's four teams that have um, one clean sheet. And one with no clean sheets. I can't remember that one. I think it's Fulham with zero clean sheets. And we're part of the other three, which is one which look a really be happening. A really interesting thing about the game, and I want, I want to bring the stats up on the screen because if you look at the stats, the game was even, and I think it was fairly even. Both teams with the same amount of shots, basically same shots on target. One one more to United. Possession very similar. Passes very similar. Passing accuracy very similar. Same fouls. Four yellow cards to three. So if you look at the overall stats, it was a very even game, which is not necessarily a good thing for a club like United. Yeah. Um, yes, some may say very fortunate to get the win in the last second. Um, again, Pogba saving Mourinho and saving the club. Yeah. Again, Marcio, a key player. I think right now our best player form-wise. Um, but for me, we talk about the defence. We've got to really talk about the midfield. Now, the likes of Matic, I think, has been a bit underperforming. Yeah. Um, not effective enough when he needs to be effective. Fred... Not too bad. I, I, I rated Fred. Not too bad. I think, I think, I think he should have stayed on and Matthew should have came off. Exactly Herrera. right. Matter was off. Matter had a bit of off yeah, game. Even even Martial wasn't as effective as he was in the last couple of weeks. Even yes, he got that goal. I don't think he was. A lot of his a lot of his balls went backwards. Yeah. Um. He didn't take on the plays as he as he as he wanted to. Like you can see, he was trying. But then you got to give credit to Bournemouth. They shut shut us down quick. Um. And. And it was weird because every time we had the ball, Bournemouth made us play backwards. So you got to give credit to them. They, they, play, still, they play a high pressing one. Was, it, it wasn't, uh, look, it was a game of two halves. Bournemouth, or it could have been 4-1 to Bournemouth in the first half. First half. First half, it could have been 4-1. Second half was a bit better and for United. second half, we did play. But the thing I don't understand is why do we? Why does it take for United to start performing in the second half? This you. And why does it take thing. for us to go behind every time. to start playing? Every time. Um, I won't say, there's, there's one thing that was refreshing for me, it was I think seeing Sanchez a bit back in form. I think it was a key, key play in this game. Yeah, um, Lukaku, big, big. Uh, Lukaku again not starting. Now, yeah, that, was, he's that's a trouble. big topic. He didn't have a trouble. Look, I don't it, think it is a big topic. Is it purely based on inform, no form? No, I think he just needs a rest. He, he, Lukaku needs a rest. He's been playing 90 minutes every game. Yeah. He's been playing league cups and as a, FA, pro, as a professional and, professional athlete number nine starting for United though you, 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 you see play, you play a lot of players like you've seen it with Matic Matic has playing, been playing 90 minutes every game except when you got uh, suspended look it makes sense you're you, right you, you, need, you need to rest your players you look like, at Man City one week Morris starting the other week Sterling's off the bed that's, they, that's they do what I'm saying they, they, you got to rotate your players and Aguero comes off every game you can see with Liverpool now with uh, Fabinho first I think first start in a, in a while but they're rotating players with uh, Shakiri coming on, Shakiri even resting a couple, yeah. couple of weeks. The problem with Mourinho, he keeps playing the same play. He, he keeps playing his players, the one he favourites, a lot. And they get burnt out. I mean, yeah, Lukaku's been not not scoring the goals. Um, you can say he's maybe a bit off form, but still, he does need that rest. Last week, he rested him, but then puts him on in the 60th minute. like, And then he missed, he missed the header. So it doesn't do anything good for his confidence. It's good to keep him off completely. But, um, but... What, what are you saying with Mata? I think Mata has been uh, important. He has in, been in our in our in our, our um, previous game. It was very good to see him. On. The last couple of games, he's been he's been good. My problem with is if I bring up the um, average positioning of of the players, yeah, as you can see, Mata, he's 
even though he's playing on the right, he always comes too central. He's too central. So we don't have that natural right winger that gives us that whiff. And um, it, it made it very easy for, for Bournemouth because they sat back and they sat back in numbers. They, they held their shape. It was very hard for Mata to get in the game. It's, last week, it was even worse. Last week, it was more, more across um, to, to the centre. So we got no whiff out wide. So when, when uh, Ashley Young is running down that wing, there's no one, no one really to link up with. And you've seen it when um, Ashley Young got that ball. Where was Mata? In there, he, gave, he gave the ball to Sanchez and Sanchez put that in where Sanchez yeah. should have been in that, yeah. in that position. Look, he ended up working, working out. But I just think United need to find someone on that right hand side. I think for me, Mata plays better in, in centrally. Better. The, 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 was, That's why Matic, Matic should have been the player that came off. Look, Matic, he, he Matic took, off, he took been... off Sanchez, Fred, and Mata. I think I would have taken Matic off before all three of those players. Um, look, at the end of the day, very important three points to United. Very yeah, important. Yeah. I last think uh, again last minute, but I, I mean, think we're very lucky too. Because, Rashford um, should have finished, man. In the out, early, early shout on. Out, shout out to George Bacham. Yeah, uh, very lucky. Very um, lucky, okay. apparently, George. Yeah, we were very lucky. Look, he, no, he's he, he's got a point. He's, he's got, got a, a we point. We are, man. We are. We're very lucky because uh, Rashford had a, a chance to to get it two one earlier. Straight at Aki. He's got the straight whole goal. Straight at Aki. Straight at Aki. And then I don't know if, if you want to call it composure. I don't know what that was, but know, takes man. it down on the chest. I think I think that comes out the Pogba's ball, man. It's an unbelievable pass. We've got no one that can cross, and we got our center, central midfielders have to cross it in. And that, and even when Lukaku is playing, he's probably one of our best crosses. But, but um, look, we'll leave it, I think we'll leave it at that. Three but points is three points, like I said at the start of the year. Important. I do not care how we play, as long as we get that three points. Three points is there. And um, we're, we're seventh now, Rami. Yeah. <laughs> come on, you know. Yes, come on, you right. Come on, you right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look, we said. We the said, other two topics up? Yeah, we said. And I think we're going to go Liverpool, City. Arsenal in the end, or? Yeah, we'll leave the Arsenal game to the so end. So I reckon we'll select the, the City game. Manchester City. And what more to say besides another absolute dominating victory. Who's stopping her, man? Is... And, and you know what burns me? De Bruyne out for another five, five, six to eight weeks, sorry, with another injury. Doesn't matter because they're winning five of them before he got injured. Mahrez, who's been ripping it the past few weeks, let's bench him, like you were saying with the previous topic about United resting yeah, not, Lukaku. Not. And then we see Sterling stepping up. After Sterling just got a $300,000 pay rise, I think now the richest English player in the world. Yep. Um, and as you were saying, like good on him, he's going to be help to help the less fortunate um, that so don't get the yeah, opportunity and the chance. He's opening up an academy for opening the less fortunate kids. That, so, good, good, on good on him. Good on him. And you know what? Credit to him, yeah? If anyone's going to doubt that he shouldn't get the pay rise, he shut up anyone that would have said that this game. Well, I've been telling you guys from the World Cup. Everyone was ripping into him in the nah, World Cup. I didn't that one in the World Cup. But look. Huh? I'm <laughs> telling you, mate. Raheem. Big up Raheem Sterling. But man, in all seriousness, man, what an absolute class performance. And can I say again, six goals, five different goal scorers. Yeah, and you know... They've done it again. Oh, Sterling scored twice. Six goals, five different oh, goal yeah, scorers. We got the we got the end goal as well. No, five true. Five goals, six goals, five but, different we, goal we, scorers. But, but we have to give, you know, South, Southampton the goal. They, they still scored for him, you know. Um, Wesley scored the goal for them, the first goal. But besides that, man, you, you see the way that it's all one-touch football, passing around through the but, middle, yeah, opening you know, out, back in the middle. Do you know what I can't understand? I don't different. understand. How when, when teams versus Manchester City they, they forget how to defend? They drop it. That um, there's three players around Aguero. Maybe it was for the second goal. What a third goal for Sterling's first. Three players around him somehow. Just watching. Somehow Aguero turns, makes the pass. Sterling first shot, just kicks into himself. Gets the ball again. Has no shot. And, and the last goal. The <laughs> worst one, Sane. Sane gets the ball and they're like, all right. They shoot, walked man. it. They walked it from halfway and. They, look, I don't know. Look, like the only me, credit I can give Southampton is Ings' penalty was quality. Yeah, it yeah. was a little calm tuck away. Get the ball, but we'll throw yeah. and we'll get catch up. And they we'll catch up goals. Yeah. yeah, good luck to that. But in all seriousness, what, man. Okay, what's, who's, who's stopping them? United next week? Well, this I, week? I mean, I'd, I'd say Liverpool, but they've already played. They, they drew. Right, yeah, drew. Sorry. Um, I can't pick a team in the Premier United, League. Man. United this week. Can United do them? No. Nah. Uh, we did them last week, uh, last year, last season over there. Our back line. Is it going to stop the likes of Sterling, Mares, Aguero, Silva, Sane? Uh, you know what? If the the thing we, we, with us, it's we make our own mistakes that give give the other team the goals. It's not like let's not get too into it because we yeah, were talking about City, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now we love talking about United. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying yeah, to comparison yeah. here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but I'm I know we're going to steer away talking about. I know, I know, I know, I know <laughs> there's not much of a comparison, but if. Look, you, you look. You, you got a point, man. They got they got some fast players. I think we do need to make some changes in our lineup. If, look, if City, if City were if we're to beat City, 
But um, it, just look at their squad, man. Seriously, who can stop them? Let us know in your comments. Who do you think in the Premier League can stop City right now? I, I don't see a team that can stop them. I really don't. It's again, man. It's it's a it's a team. It's not an individual player that's dominating. It's a team, and it's and uh, to be honest, with you, it starts for me with Guardiola, man. The manager has it going right. I think you were, you were telling and, me he wasn't and, happy. And Arda came reason. out saying, "Look, I, 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 one, not happy. I, I'm still not satisfied with the football they're providing. I think they can give me more." This is what Barcelona is missing from Guardiola too now. Don't get me wrong, Barcelona is doing great in the Spanish league, but th this is the kind of personality and the kind of leadership you need in the squad. When you've got a squad of absolute stars, a, a manager like Guardiola is, is going to just motivate you to do more and more. And if six one and five nil and five one and all these dominating results is enough, man, they're doing this without De Bruyne. To me. He's probably their best player. Hard to say because the Aguero and whatever, but the likes of well, De Bruyne. Was definitely one of their best players last he, season. He was in the PFA so. team last year, uh, the team of the year. Sorry, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what more to say besides these guys are just too much. They, they are just, and and it's like they're doing. It's a training session. Yeah, it's not even a they, game. It's a training session. We'll see how they go. We'll see how they go against United this this weekend. But look, they they see it now first with twenty nine points, nine wins, two draws, zero losses, thirty three goals for. And, and only four against. Wow. Um, I think twenty nine uh, goal difference. got five again. I thought they were, I thought they were the same. Um, but yeah, thirty three goals scored. They, How, how's Man City's catch. next run looking though? So the next game they've got Man United yeah. at home, which will probably be a bit of a test for them. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a test for them. West Ham. It's very easy. I think they've got a very easy run, City. They do. They got West Ham at home, away. They have North. Bournemouth at home. Um, they've got Watford away. They've got um, Chelsea. Chelsea. You know what? Couple this might weeks. be a team that could stop. They, when's, when's that game played? That's on ninth, the that's on the ninth of December. Of December. So um, eight, look, you know what? I think if there's going to be a team that could beat them that hasn't versed them yet, it's probably Chelsea. Could be, man. Could be. Could be Chelsea. Chelsea at home. Mm, yeah. Could be. But look, man. There's not much more to say about City. They got one on the NFL pitch. Yeah, they won an NFL beach. We saw Maris um, score a touchdown. Touchdown, Maris, great touchdown there. Great touchdown. But I thought Tottenham had a big chance stopping him previous last week. Um, and yeah, we didn't do an episode to talk about it, but there was a few chances they missed in front of goals. Lamella had that chance in front of goals. He yeah, missed. skied it. Skied it. Um, but that's all it is. You've got to take I, it against... And I believe against, we, we like, said the, the, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, first down. <laughs> Maris. But yeah, um, look... Look, you got to, against City, you got to take your chances. Yeah. And if United do not take their chances, then um, we might be looking at a really bad scoreline... Hey, as well. there's three teams right now that that, that could do the Invincibles. Uh, we'll, we'll say we haven't seen it since could. Arsenal did it back in the days. They could, but again, again, Th three United, squads right now. United haven't versed the top three yet, so City is gonna lose this week, and then whenever we verse Liverpool, we so we should have beat, we should have Chelsea. Seen Chelsea. No, no, don't don't but, talk uh, about that game. Don't. About them. Got anyway, them. we have versed top three. That City dominating, five star performance, well, running right, a mark, yeah, running right. riot, and the last topic of the week. Was the match of the week? Was the was was two teams that are absolutely in form, and we saw Arsenal go one all to Liverpool. One all, yeah. Look, I think the first half was pretty even. I think it was, and you know what? To like for for this game, I'm surprised it finished one all because if you look at the last five five games um, that they've played, I think it was like a three all draw, then it was a four three to Liverpool, and a three one three one to Liverpool. Then yeah. I think it was. Um, I can't remember what one of those scores were, but then another three or draw. So there's big, um, some big uh, scoring games there in the last five for, for Arsenal and Liverpool. One all here. And look, you could say it's surprising, but um, look, Liverpool's fixed there. Do you feel like one all was, was a fair result? I think it, oh, I do. I think the way. It, oh, actually. Look, if you, if you, if you, look, at stats, overall, if you overall, look at stats, man, possession wise, and yeah, Arsenal, think overall, that, Ars, think overall, Arsenal had it over them in that way. But mm. if you do look at the chances both teams had, they could have put a lot more chances away, both teams. Yeah. Um, we saw we saw Liverpool's goal was a bit of a, um, I think a mix up in the back line. Yeah, you I, could think, say. I think Leno should have pushed that away instead of uh, punching it straight in. Outside the box, yeah, which is um, always dangerous. You always, as a keeper, you know, you know, you want to push the ball away from danger. And then we saw Milner's experience show. Yeah, um, good finish from Milner. I Calm. think hitting it first time, great finish. But for me, I think Lacazette's goal tells you a lot about the kind of player he is. Now, should have Allison came out? I don't know. As a keeper, your yeah, reaction yeah, immediately is to shut down the player. The player, yeah. He came out a bit but too then much. Again, but... I, no, I don't, I don't. You know what? I don't think Allison is is in the wrong there because you you. Sh a player should be on the line straight away. Keeper comes out, first reaction is um, play on the line. Was it just class from Lacazette? Yeah. 
Just class, yeah? Yeah, the way, they, the way you turn and finish. First touch away, great. beat the player, first touch, back stick, no player um, there. It shows how what kind of striker he is, isn't it? Yeah, and look, I think Liverpool should have got a goal. I think it was Mane. He was caught offside. Yeah. He was on offside in, in the initial when the initial ball was played, but Firmino got onto it first. Mane didn't interrupt in, 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 in the play there and um should have been should have been a goal to Liverpool, should have been one 0 in, in, in the first half. But um I think some key given, players given it offside and it was clearly on. But um Some key players have uh, didn't perform this game. What, what, what was your I guess and uh, this is a conversation I had with um, another friend of mine. What did you think about Salah's performance for Liverpool this game? Now Salah, he's been, he's been off, man. Like I know, I know he's been scoring in, in uh, Champions Leagues, and he's I think he got a goal last week. But he's been a bit off. I don't know if that shoulder still, he's still putting him on, off a on bit. his mind a bit. Um, but it's, look, I think they they started off in a four three three Liverpool, yeah, yeah. and they they finished off with, I think it was a four three two one or something. Yeah. With uh, Firmino ended up dropping into that ten roll. And uh, Salah going up front really didn't do well, much. They, 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 they put Matip on. Now, for who they took off... Because, look, who they take off? So, who? Salah came off and Firmino came off. And then we saw Matip and Shikiri, Shikiri. come on. I'm surprised. Well, I'm look, surprised it was because... after they scored. So, clearly, they were, hold, um, they were trying to hold the one to victory, That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised. I, I always say Klopp doesn't have a plan B. Obviously... He went for... He tried getting for the he, plan he B. He tried. Yeah, yeah he, he, he didn't change like for like. And he, he went to hold, hold the draw. Yeah, he did. Which, look... Would you take the draw? Usually, look, going away to a well, rival. I think, I think Matip, did Matip come on before Arsenal's goal? I'm not sure. Um, so, look, I, I think I think he was trying to hold the victory. Yeah, it could have been. Could have been. He was trying to hold so the one he's, victory. He's trying to change it up a bit, which is good to see. Yeah, yeah. But if we look at the average positioning of the, of the, of the players from both teams, yeah, I'll bring it up on the screen for you, boy, uh, for you guys. Um, Liverpool is most of their players in their half. And you can see uh, Arsenal players all in the Liverpool half. So and and they're in the green, just for the people to know. Yeah, the the players in the green, uh, players that started the subs in yellow. Yeah. So subs in yellow, Liverpool with the two subs there. Um, uh, yeah, look, Liverpool, Liverpool were most of them most of the game in their own half. So they're sitting a bit deeper. Arsenal, you can see pushing numbers up front. You can see who's this Kalasenac, uh, thirty-one, I think he is, over the halfway line. Is that um, uh, Bellerin yep. too? He's he's. Almost on that on that right wing, yeah. And then look at their look at their four front players for for Arsenal. You got Lacazette, you got um, Aubameyang, nine. Who's nine for Arsenal, man? I forgot. Oh, Lac- Lacazette. Is he nine? Yeah, yeah, Lacazette. Who's ten then? Ramsey. Ramsey. Sorry, Ramsey. And then you had um, Ozil. Ozil's ten. Ozil's ten, and um, Mkhitaryan. Yeah. So they're they're pressing they're pressing um, up front hard. And look, they they got that goal. But you know what? For me, I think their their main player in this game in the last couple of games is Torreira. I was gonna. I was about he's to say gonna, that, he's, man. He's turned it on. And His role in that midfield, and you know what? I think Xhaka has really shut us up. We yeah, spoke no, no, earlier in the season. You've got to give him credit because he was. Uh, we, we're like, I don't even know how he's still an Arsenal player, and now week in week out, he's been the consistent centre mid playing for the squad. Yeah, look, he's Torreira. Um, if we look at his pass completed passes, I think he's completed eighty nine percent of his passing. Brilliant, eighty nine percent. I think he made like sixty four. Was it sixty four passes in the game? I think only. Jaka, uh, I think Jaka made more passes. I think he made 107 passes and 60. Uh, sorry, 90, 97 were completed from Jaka, which is, which is something different to see. It is, it is. But look, we spoke about when them two play. I think um, Torreira gives him that balance. He holds. It's, it's, he, a gives, he gives Arsenal something they didn't have last year. Man, we, 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 not, we saw him in the World Cup. He is, he yeah, is, he's, he's done it for Uruguay player. in the World Cup he's as a well. Player. But um. Yeah, look, Torreira. Torreira is a big, a big part of Liverpool's, uh, sorry, Arsenal's uh, success in the last couple of games. And now he's been starting, yeah. which is good to say as well. Yeah. The last couple of games he hasn't been starting. Um, oh, sorry. Before that, we spoke about how Gwendausi and we wanted Gwendausi him to start, but now he's suspended. Yeah, he's not on the bench. He's got suspended. He's suspended in, in uh, um, week. But, but we, look, we look at the subs they made. Yeah, Ramsey came on. Awobi and Warbeck. Awobi and Warbeck gave Arsenal a lot of. Awobi especially. Brilliant, yeah. yeah Wobi since the World Cup a lot has of switched on. Big he, time. He's been a different player. His pace when he comes off the and, bench is um, ridiculous. I love it. What do you think about Ramsey? Because I think he's he's been playing great. Oh, he gave that he gave that ball to that weighted pass to to um to Lacazette for the goal. And look, they're not I don't know why they're not giving him another contract. It looks like he'd be there's rumors that he's going to um Bayern Munich. I've been well, hearing Bayern Munich, Man United also linked to him, so 
I think Arsenal should hold on to him. He's a good, he's a good squad player. You can put him in, in, in a few different positions. But um, look, overall, I think one all was a fair result. Yeah. Um, I, I think it could have been numerous you, goals you, for both squads. I think it could have been more goals for Arsenal than than Liverpool. This is why I asked you, was it a fair result, one all? The fact that Arsenal but could have scored it, more. But then. I think Arsenal could have scored more, but you got to give it to Liverpool's defense. They've been they've been solid in the back all year. And, and hence why and this if you look is at, Liverpool's if you look at the so way much more better team this year. They look if you look at their shape, I think maybe positives and negatives from Liverpool that they centrally they were they were tight. They made sure no no ball they closed off all the channels. They did leave the spaces out wide, so they gave gave more balls there to. They played um, out through the outlets and the sides. Yeah, yeah. They gave a lot of room out wide, and um, that's where that's where Arsenal punished them. There, there was there was a few times um, Bellerin was free out wide in dangerous positions. He's overlapping like, runs from that. From yeah, that, from that, the right that goal position. that goal came from from players going out wide. I think I can't remember who who it was exactly off the top of my head, but. Uh, Alexander Arnold had to, had to make a decision: Do I stick with my player? Do I do I shut him down? And uh, Ramsey has played that ball in. But um, I think it was a fair result. It was a great game to watch. It was a really good game Very to watch. Um, but then again, look, Liverpool. Liverpool still undefeated. They go now playing the Champions League. It's, who they play? I'm not sure they have next to be honest. Napoli is it Nap- No, Red Star. Sorry. Red Star. With this Red Star in, in the in the Red Champions Star League. Belgrade. Yeah, on on the seventh. Um. And, um and Arsenal playing the Europa League against who knows who from probably Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. <laughs> nah, so. But look, man, that both. I can ask you a question. Arsenal title contenders at this stage, ten games in. Sorry, is it 10, eleven games look, in? Look, look. Are, are they are they contenders? Because they're look, not far I, off the top. I think it's 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 hard to say because Arsenal are doing well. Fourteen games undefeated, but I think it has to come down to the three teams that are still undefeated. That's that's what that's what makes it a bit tough. You look at three teams that are undefeated: City, Chelsea, and. Can Liverpool. they challenge though? Can they challenge? They can challenge. Not? Can they challenge? Because Arsenal, not... I think they make top four. Yeah, um, of course. I think that's a big possibility. Well, they, look, they only um, look six points from top, six points from from first. Of course, it's total contenders. Of course, but it's for me. The reason, the point I'm saying, it's hard to put it past the three teams that are undefeated at the moment. So what? I'm, yeah, look, 100% I agree with you. But like, for with Arsenal, what's what do they need for them to become? Just part keep, of, just keep going as they go. at a time. Keep taking it as they're coming. They haven't. They're, they're doing brilliant. Yeah. I think the managers restored some faith in the team. It's their first year without Arsenal Wenger. Arsenal Wenger was there for a it's long time. It's surprising that um, they're going so well. Yeah, look, new look, manager, uh, new. Well, look, and he's, and he Arsenal Wenger kind of lost it. Yeah, he he, he lost it when, with Arsenal in the last few years he was there. In the last ten years, actually, to be honest with you, um, it was different. Yeah, like we look at United and. Ferguson left on such a high note winning the Premier League and then left left United with the squad. That's what they've been struggling. With Arsenal, it's different. Arsenal fans have wanted him out many times. Ask any United fans, I want they Ferguson have, back. They have, they have Very the players. Yeah. Yeah. They had the players. They just The system was a bit prehistoric. It was. With, it was different. Wenger. It's back in the days. Doesn't it, it doesn't work like nowadays. Emery, Emery is the, he's, and look, he's, the manager's not scared to, no. to sub off play, or, or to bench players like Lacazette, like Aubameyang. He's got, he's got leave options. Ozil, leave Ozil on the bench. And, and again, and another player like another player who's picking up form is Ozil under this manager. Yeah. A lot better than what we saw last year. A lot of talk but last yeah. year was about what's happening to Ozil. He has stepped up. When you have players around you and the new system that the team the, the team's believing in it. Yeah, the players yeah. believe in it. But like you were saying, the next game, that they got sporting in Europa. Is that at home? Um, they are at home. Yeah, they are at home. home yeah. um, I think they won one nil there last time. So let's see how they're going to go. Because you know, you know, your Europa League how it is. So far, they've been doing so well. But um, yeah, the Friday Sunday games. Look again before we wrap it up. Liverpool. Yeah, look two points, two points behind Manchester City. They dropped down to third just on goal difference with Chelsea. With a draw, they just caught. But um, uh, look, Van Dijk. I don't want to get too much into it. Van Dijk. I think he's worth his wages. He's worth his the price tag. He's, he's, he's a leader for Liverpool. It's something they didn't have in the, in the last couple of years in defence. And he's been great for him. And I think this yeah. is why they only got conceded five goals. Big reason. Giving, especially giving their youngsters... Uh, Alexander Arnold and Robertson. Yeah, look, they, they, I think they players like that look up to someone like... like well, um, I've said it week in, week out. Yeah, week in, week out. I've said it this season so far. <laughs> the reason why they are so good this season is not because they're attack. Yeah, they, they added Shakiri and, Fib- and well, added Fabinho in the well, midfield. Well, but their defence has not been good in the previous well, years. Well, and well, now they've attack, finally got well, it. Their attack hasn't scored in... Like that, that combination, that front three, they've been struggling in the last couple of games. Yeah, compared to what they used to do last year, but yeah, now, yeah, it's but now it's a defence. Now it's a defence. It's a story is, about their defence, to be honest with which, you. Which, um, what's his name? Jürgen Klopp has rectified it in, in um, the pre-season, buying in the transfer window. And look, Liverpool, man. Hope not. Hope not. Hope not, Rami. <laughs> Please. Please. By man. the way, Borch gets married next year, and if Liverpool win the league, it's going to happen right before his wedding. I'm going to cancel. 
I'm gonna cancel the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get to okay. <laughs> How I'm gonna be depressed one week, the week before. Well, you're gonna party, bro. It's disgusting. But yeah, um, I think that's a wrap for this week's episode. Yeah, guys, thanks again. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the hit the um, subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. You get all the notifications, all the videos as soon as they come out. We have a bit more videos for you coming out soon. Um, we have some highlights from Malaysia with the boys. Yeah, without uh, I try. I, I try my best to get more highlights from the boys on Champions of Champions as well. I'll try to get a few highlights for that if I can. And yeah, we got we got a few new videos coming out as well, guys. So make sure you, you hit that bell so you get you get notified. Yeah. Until like, next subscribe, time. and we'll see you next time.